Hi. Today was a great day. Every day can be a great day. Uh, the day to me is our, sort of the basic unit of our lives. We should strive to make every day as good as it can be. Today, I didn't do a lot of Korean studying, but it was still a great day. Um, I had played hockey this morning, which is great. I love it. I get out there. I work as hard as I can. No matter how I feel, I didn't sleep all that well. I get there. I work hard. I get in there and I shower at the end of it. And I, I feel great when I'm done. Then I went to lunch at this little bistro. I had a, a, a seafood chowder, which is excellent. And then a buckwheat crepe with vegetables. And as I started, beside me were three Korean ladies. So I immediately chatted them up in my limited Korean, which was fun. Then uh, on the other side of me was a fellow with a Russian girlfriend wife I didn't explore. And so I spoke to her in uh, Russian. Then uh, the three Korean ladies left. Another couple, Korean, sat down beside me. It's unbelievable. So I spoke to them. They were very interested in the fact that I was studying Korean. Uh, there were some Russians off in the corner speaking Russian. I didn't accost them. Um, but then I went to the office. We had a meeting. We reviewed all the things that we're going to do. We have some exciting things coming up in Link in terms of our iPhone and Android apps, in terms of improvements that, I mean, I don't want, I'm not going to talk about them, but, and they always take longer than, than we expect, but that was kind of exciting. Then I get a phone call from my Chinese friend. He says, you got to come with to dinner with us. Come to my place at five. We're driving out to Richmond, which is an hour away. I go there. Oh, but before that, the key thing today is that uh, someone on my uh, YouTube channel said, why don't you look in to talk to me in Korea? And I, of course, I know talk to me in Korean. I know Hyun Woo Soon. We have some of his stuff at Link. So I went to his website. And there was a lot of good stuff there, which I, I bought. I bought three or four items from his website, Talk To Me In Korean. Just Google it, Talk To Me In Korean. And I've started listening to his blog book, audio book of his blog, which seems to me very good. I think the whole thing there is going to help me in my Korean. I'll be talking about it later on. So that was a major discovery. Talk To Me In Korean. I downloaded, bought, downloaded, and I'll be working on it. So then anyway, this Chinese guy phones me, says, you got to come out. This, this is a gentleman who lives in China, has a car dealership there, but most of the time he lives in Vancouver. And so we went out and we met with some people from mainland China and had a phenomenal dinner, drank some nice wine. Uh, I wasn't driving. Um, so it was a great day and I was speaking lots of Chinese and I was going to take a video, but it wasn't considered appropriate because apparently, uh, the government now in China has put some restrictions on government officials um, traveling. Um, but uh, no, it was a good day. It was an excellent day. It was an absolutely great day. So every, every day that's a good day, like I, I do believe this, even in terms of our language learning, we have to take credit for the good things that happen to us or we have to pat ourselves on the back or, or recognize you have a good day. That's a good day. Um, I didn't advance my Korean an awful lot. But it was still a good day. And tomorrow uh, at noon, I'm going to have a chat with Ju Hyun. So I'm going to work hard in the morning listening to whatever I can listen to and try to get my Korean up so that when I speak to her, that I hope she will say, gee, your Korean has improved. But I may be disappointed. But we will find out tomorrow. In, in the meantime, that's all I have to report uh, for today on day 20. But tomorrow, if I can get my... Uh, call recorded work, you'll hear me speaking Korean to Ju Hyun and see what her reaction is to the results of 20 days that I've spent on trying to upgrade my 